total pleasures. Thanks for joining me. If this is your first time, I'd love it if you would subscribe. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Comment down in the comment section and hit that notification bell so you're notified each and every time I upload a new video. You guys, today I'm going to share with you my fall decorations that I've gathered together to get ready for the fall season. I hope you enjoy this video and I hope it inspires you to do some decorating of your own. I'll see you at the end of the video, guys. I had my husband bring down from the attic my bins with my fall decorations. I went through a lot of it and I donated two bins of decorations to local thrift stores. I saved some items to decorate my mom's yard and I kept the items that fit the look I'm going for this year. This is a mix of the pumpkins I either already had or recently purchased. I'm sure you recognize a few from my Fall Deco Hobby Lobby and Home Goods haul. This year, I'm going with all neutral colors with pops of muted orange and greens. These pumpkins are ready for decorating and the colors are what I'm looking for this year. Some of my old pumpkins I decided to paint to make them fit the neutral color scheme I'm going for this year. I didn't film me painting all of the pumpkins, and there were many, but I did take a before picture of two of the pumpkins I needed to paint so that you could see how you can take any color pumpkin and customize it to fit your decor. I wanted just a couple of pumpkins in brown. I know, I know guys, but I think they turned out beautiful. And now, let me show you all the other pumpkins I painted. I really wanted the white neutral tones with pops of muted orange. I added stems to a few of the pumpkins as well. I had a few pumpkins that were already white, but I wanted to really warm these pumpkins up and not only paint them white, I wanted a creamy white with a warm mix of black and gold to give them that creamy white and wood tone look. You guys, I could not have found these in the stores. They fit perfectly with my home decor and I think they're really gonna look lovely throughout my home when I officially decorate. In total, I painted 17 pumpkins and you know what? I enjoyed every minute of it. And even though I wanted the neutral tones for the majority of my decorating, I didn't shy away from the traditional orange and black for the season. I'll be using these colors on my porch. First guys, take a look at these amazing pumpkins I ordered from Michaels. These pumpkins are over 19 inches wide. They are huge. They're regularly priced $89 each, but I snagged them on sale for $50 each. I know that's a lot for pumpkins, but I think they're gonna make such a statement for my entry in my porch. And they're made very durable, so they'll last for years. And if you watch my porch makeover video, then you remember that I painted the front door in that poppy seed gray and my doormat was in that buffalo check pattern, as well as the wreath on my door. Well, I think this thankful sign with the orange and buffalo check pattern and this wonderful harvest time pumpkin and this garland that I have that says grateful, I'm going to incorporate them all as well as this stem of flowers that I'll add to the flower arrangements that are on the bench. And this letter P, <laughs> well, you guys, it's going to get a makeover too. And you'll see it all come together in my official Fall Decorate With Me video. And I can't wait to share that with you. And I can't wait to finally settle into the fall season. These next items I'll use to decorate my son's and my daughter's bathrooms. Now, I don't usually go overboard, but I just add small pops of decor to their bathrooms to continue the flow of the season throughout our home. I tend to do a little more in the ladies' bathroom than I do in the gentlemen's. And when my oldest daughter was at home, she used to go all out for every holiday season, and I just loved it. She continues to do it in her own home now, and it's always so warm and so inviting, and it's beautifully well done, and I always look forward to seeing what she's got going on. I guess the apple really doesn't fall far from the tree. Now let's move on to the things that I'm gonna be using in my foyer and family room. I'm also gonna use those pops of orange along with the neutral tones in those areas of our home as well. I love this little welcome pillow that you're gonna see here. I picked it up from the Target bargain spot and I love the soft burlap material and the white stitching on the front of it. 
absolutely gorgeous. Now you guys, I wanted to add just a touch of amber glass to my decor. It's so popular right now, so I wanted to get in on that amber glass fun. And I've always loved this color because my birthstone is topaz and I feel like amber glass is just a deeper, richer tone of that. So when I found this amber glass jar at Target in the hearth and home section for only $5, I was excited. And you guys remember this little guy from my Hobby Lobby Home Goods fall decor haul? My fall gnome. He's the perfect mix of all the colors I'm trying to incorporate. The brown tones in his hat and his boots and his clothing and the white of his beard and the creamy tones of his nose and his hands and that orange pumpkin, perfect. And this beautiful basket tray I actually found at Walmart. And of course, Hobby Lobby didn't let me down with these tiny pumpkins. And this orange pumpkin pillow I also found at Walmart for only $5. This wooden paddle, I'm not really sure what it's used for, but I thought that cute pumpkins inside of it would be just the right touch. I also found these cute dainty reeds in the Target bargain spot. The leaves on these reeds look so realistic. And you guys, do you see my throat peeping out from under all of this? I ordered it from Amazon. The colors are so rich, but so soft at the same time. I just love it. I'll link it in the description box in case you wanna check it out for yourself and see the other colors and different styles that it comes in. And this wooden pumpkin is one of my favorites from last year's fall haul. I absolutely love the neutral color with the burlap bow and the tiny metal bells as part of the stem. The pumpkins that I painted mimic this wooden pumpkin to a T. And of course, I have to add some stems. This beautiful stem from Target's Hearth and Hand collection, I'm sure if you've been to Target, you've seen it there. It's very popular and I've actually seen it on other YouTubers' fall hauls and decorate videos. And I have this tiny boxwood stem to add to my decor as well, as well as these tiny textured stems that I also found in the Target bargain spot. I think these colors are really gonna make my foyer and my family room very, very inviting for the fall season. These next items are fall decor that I plan to use in my dining room and in my um, kitchen eat-in area. For the formal dining area, it's not really a separate room, guys. It's actually an area that flows in to the living room. I have that open concept. And I have a round glass top table and I plan to use these beautiful beige and sage green velvet placemats. They're shaped like pumpkins and they also make the table look so soft. And I'm also going to use these really, really pretty white plates that say thankful or blessed. And then these green sage plates that are shaped like leaves. And this beautiful green ticking cloth pumpkin. I absolutely love it. And I'll also incorporate this beautiful hand knitted table running that table runner that you see there. And, and again, if you watch my Hobby Lobby Home Goods haul, you'll remember these. Now I've been looking for these vintage looking trucks and I thought that I was gonna have to get one in red and paint it. But when I found this one at Target, I had to get it. Those pink flowers don't fit my decor, but I'll just take them out and put something else. And if you remember seeing my um, fall decor haul, you remember these beautiful wooden bead napkin rings and these dainty, beautiful placemats. I can't wait to put these on the table. Now this leather pumpkin is a DIY project that I did. And this pumpkin matches the seats of my dining room chair. And you guys, I have this starry light garland that I found at Target and I plan to use them in this glass pumpkin that I found while I was thrifting. 
and that tiered tray that you saw earlier, well, it was another DIY project and it's gonna get incorporated somewhere. And now you guys, I think I'm most excited about my plans for my fireplace mantle this year. This wooden horse is actually not going to be by the foyer. It's going by the fireplace. It's going to be by the foyer, but he's cute. This beautiful sign here I got from Hobby Lobby for $19.99. It's huge and it's going to look gorgeous over the fireplace. The greenery and this beautiful sign and the wooden tray are all from Hobby Lobby and I'll be using them along with some other surprises on the fireplace mantle. The greenery here was no longer 50% off, but for the look I'm going for, I had to bite the bullet and just pay full price for it. And I wish I had known my plans for the mantle earlier when I purchased all the other greenery garland that I got while it was on sale, but no worries, the mantle is worth it and I can keep it up year round. And this beautiful wooden tray, I scored you guys. It was originally $50, but it was on sale for 50% off. You guys, it's huge, and the wood tones are perfect. You guys, I did a simple DIY project that's just gonna take my mantle to another level, and I can't wait to share it with you. And I cannot decorate without my pillows. These pillows all pull in the pops of orange. This grateful pillow, I love it. The embroidered stitching is just so nice. This blessed pillow with the burlap lettering and the jute rope trim is just so me, you guys. In so many ways, this pillow is so me. And this one with the jute rope and the white stitched pumpkins is just so dainty, this plaid one. And this little one is made from burlap and it reads a grateful heart is a happy heart. And you know what guys, that is so true. Now this pillow that reads give thanks matches the grateful pillow, but it has a white cord trim. And this last pillow is so fun and whimsical. It reads, every year I fall for pumpkin spice lattes, crackling fires, autumn leaves, butternut squash soup, cinnamon scented candles, hot apple cider, and you. I love it. These pillows are all pillows that I've had from last year and they always look so nice sprinkled throughout, especially in the bedrooms. And these more neutral toned pillows, I'll mix in with the orange toned pillows here and there. 
I love this little burlap lumbar pillow with the birds on it. And these light tan buffalo check pillows. As well as this burlap pillow with the detailed stitch trim. And this year, I added this ticking stripe and leather pillow covers that I'll use in my family room. And again, the leather matches my couches and the leather on my dining room chairs. I ordered these pillows from Amazon and I'll also link them below in case you'd like to see the array of patterns and colors that they come in. Okay guys, that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope it inspires you to do some fall decorating for yourself. Again, I'd love if you'd subscribe if you haven't already. Don't forget to like and comment down in the comment section and also hit the notification bell so you're notified each and every time I upload a new video. You guys, I usually upload on Fridays, so they're up for you on Saturday morning. You guys, don't forget, it's all the little things in life that bring us the prettiest little pleasures. You guys be blessed. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.